I need... I need a perspective in my head. I'm afraid I'm losing my mind. You, you keep telling me about these glimpses of the past. But why can't you just tell me what you did? Maybe that's why I had to find a god. Well, I... I don't think you found him, Father. Give me the run, then. I mean, this short film. It's your unfinished masterpiece, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, um... You know the girl in the, in the film that I showed you? Yeah. I think I've got to have a talk with her on Skype or something. Yeah, well, she's fine. She's, a, she's alive. And what about that guy further on in the film? Yeah, 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 he's fine too. It's, it's just the other girl. What about her? Well, she disappeared. We, we were shooting in the woods and something happened. And? She's lost her mind. She's, she's gone cuckoo. I, I don't know. I know they're investigating the noise where I shot my film, and I just want to find out what's happened there, so... And that's my film. Helen. I'm a fucking pussycat. What? You've got nothing on me. And you're just playing me like this because you just want to push me into a corner. You're trying to weaken my resolve. You sound like a fucking precocious teenager. <laughs> Or maybe I think like a fucking precocious teenager. You know, look, this isn't the first time I've had some fuddy-duddy academic woman in front of me trying to tell me what to do. What are you saying? I don't want to be bullied by someone like you. But you see, we're having this conversation because you think at the end of it you're going to have some sort of control over me right well, I think you misread I didn't misread anything huh? see I know what I am I'm the new play thing to show off See, if your university gets all this funding, which I can help it attract, then suddenly, I just become the Christmas anecdote. I'm the guy who you flipped around, you know? I went from priest, nerd, to some cool guy in a suit with an 80 pound haircut. All because I helped pull in all the attention towards you and all of your cronies. You're a bigoted, religious nutcase. I'm not dealing with you anymore, Father. You're not a man of God. <sighs> well, I'm used to being treated with hostility. I've been called a lot of things, but nobody has ever said that I am not a man of God. You know what? I think you might be onto something there. But maybe I'll just take my war stories to another university now. Hmm? Yeah, do that.
We're in at the end of the week, right? What's wrong? I should be there, but I've not been feeling great all week. Well, you kind of have to be there. Everyone's in on Friday. I will. I'll be fine. Look, I've been hearing this really weird noise. Not you as well. What do you mean? We didn't do anything like that. I have no idea who that guy is. So I film it and record it? All right, I can do it. Yeah, I'm sure. Good afternoon, Sarah. My name is Father Baravento. I'm just calling everybody in your class at present to let them know uh, I'm available for any advice you need on your noise phenomenon project. I'm very familiar with it. If you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch.
keep going, let's keep going. What thing do we have to play with here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just go back again one more time. Camera's still rolling. No, you're fine there. Maggie, action! Can you not now talk with me? No. I can't. Why not? It's what these rattling woods do. They take you back to who you were before. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. So we have to drink all day and all night, right? Yep. You don't stop. I'm not very good when I drink. Do this and it will keep you alive. You still write your stories? Yeah, all the time. I like your stories. Remember this clearly. Eyes will not shut until we have each drunk a whole bottle. Protection from her. Foul play. Oh, fire. 
What I miss? Nothing much. Why are you even here? Therapy. My mum tried to kill me when I was 16. She was a psychotic. It's, it's complicated. We don't talk anymore. But... And I'm here for the rattling. And just so you know, I don't like snakes. <laughs> there aren't any snakes around here. Well, what's the rattling then? That's what we're trying to find out. I'm not stupid, AJ. What perfume do you use? Why is that even important? Baronento told me. It's all about the stink. Oh. You know, pheromones and that. What do you think of? CK1. Me and Emily both wear it. I don't even wear deodorant. Oh, why the fuck is that even important? The chemicals. And I stop shaving. Oh, no, that's us doing this. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Just because I'm not into all that cosmetic crap. I just let my stink out there. You wear makeup? Yeah, on my face. Don't fuck with me, Bailey. I'm not fucking with you. I'd eat you for breakfast. My face will be yours. All right, reset. <laughs> Mum a lot. What do you mean? Well, I've been with kids. Not your own? <laughs> no. My sister has kids and my sister's friends have kids, so I'm cheap childcare. So I'm quite domesticated, actually. Well, if you're going to make lunch, remember I'm vegan. Yeah, well, when we get home, if you look in the fridge, you'll find a shelf that says vegan. They say the noise is apparently like dried, uncooked rice fried in a pan and then shaken. No. It's weirder than that. Em said you've been throwing up a lot. My mum used to throw up all the time. It was usually on Saturdays, but it could have been any day. Maria, I kind of thought the reason for us coming out here would be a different one, you know? Yeah. Can I talk to you? About what? Yesterday. What about yesterday? Well, the way my period just stopped so abruptly. I mean, I did get myself pretty drunk, but nothing like that's ever happened to me before. <laughs> but I'm not a doctor. No, but you're a girl I kind of trust. <laughs> Debatable. What? You're like that cool filmmaker girl. So what? My stuff doesn't really work down there anyway. Oh. It's okay. I have primary amenorrhea. Yeah, my mum used to work in a clinic. That's... I got pregnant once. It hasn't started again since. So... So let's just leave her that, yeah. Is that why you're so obsessed with smell? Maybe. I just kind of notice things. You know, all the little details. Look, maybe we should start heading back. Uh, I think I'm going to go and kiss a few frogs. I don't get it. Well, I want some attention, and I don't care where I get it from. Well, I like you. Well, not you. I don't like you like that. You're my friend. Emily's been cheating on me. She has a husband and two children. She's been lying to me all this time and she thinks I don't know. Sorry, I didn't realize. 
yeah, well, it's fine. You know, I'm still seeing her, I'm still talking to her. But she's kind of broken my heart. I broke someone's heart once. You can fix it. In another lifetime, maybe. Do you have any other news on your sister? I mean facts, not speculation. I, I can't watch the news for fear of what they might announce. I could always cope with the news before, but now it's... Mother, we've been over this so many times these past two months. No one's quite sure what to do. I don't think that's good enough. Surely someone must know something. What about the university? Why aren't they concerned? What about the other students? Some of the mature students on the course are investigating things. You didn't tell me that on the telephone. You could have just told me. It's only just happened in the past week or so. You mean this investigation? Yeah. Why are you not concerned? I am. I really am. But I just have this strange feeling that she's just fine. Sarah, she disappeared without a trace. No one disappears like that anymore. No one doesn't not investigate. Another girl on the course went missing too. I didn't want to tell you. I think they're covering it up. Well, when did this other girl disappear? She went missing before Maya. They thought she'd left. Her name was Maggie. Oh my goodness, That this is dreadful. <laughs> it's strange, sometimes I feel like I'm going to disappear too. Don't be so morbid. What do you mean? It's awkward to admit. I've heard all these voices and I don't know whether they're in my head or real. Sarah, it's stress. Your sister is missing. You've no idea where she is. The, the worry is devastating. I'm it's killing me. I'm sure she's alive. I think you need to come home. I can't. The project isn't finished yet. Sarah, please. No, Maya's alive somewhere. I just don't know where to look. Well, how would you even know where to look? I don't feel like the same person anymore. I guess it was going to happen sooner or later. What are you trying to tell me? It sounds like you're beginning to tune into things, that's all. Tune in? I don't really believe in it. It, it seems to skip a generation. I think you know what I'm talking about. You mean I can sense things? Yes, the click or whatever you want to call it. I tried it when I was little, when I was your age. My, my grandmother had the calling, but, but not me. 
I haven't had any visions yet. Maybe you've got that to look forward to. The university called a priest in. But they can't call the mother of a daughter who's in their care and responsibility. Maya left a note. That's why they're not worried like they should be. Show it to me. It doesn't make much sense to me. I'll tell you when I'm ready to be found. Maya wouldn't write this. I can't make sense of this. That's why there's no investigation. I told you, I can feel her. I'll find her when she's ready to be found. Mother, the priest said he knew who you were through family connections. Does he have a name? Barilento, Father Barilento. Well, when did you see him? I haven't yet. He's been here a week. He flew in from Africa. That's the best news I've heard since Maya disappeared. How? He, he's the son of a friend. He was a soldier before he was a priest. How is that going to help us find Maya? It, it's just reassurance, I guess. He's a specialist. What does he do? He finds people. Mother, you look quite vacant. What's wrong? It's hope. I'm going back to the hotel. We'll talk later at dinner. Sarah, what are you doing here? Making more notes for the project. We've got the meet on Friday. Yeah, we've been here for a few days. Have you been here all this time? Weird. What are you drawing? All of us dying, but not being able to die. Okay, cool. Can I see? Okay. Wow. You drew all of this yourself? Why, what's wrong? Do you not like it? No, they're great. I've got lots of felt tips and crayons. So when you write your stories and draw your pictures, you regress to be an eight? No, I don't think so. Don't worry about us. Honestly, they're great. <sighs> Wait, that picture, that story, what's it about? It's about a girl who doesn't bleed when she's supposed to, so the village decides she's a witch. Then, when they find she's a child, they rip it out of her and burn her. That is awful. It was. Okay, we're gonna go. Yeah, see you later. Right. Okay. We'll see you in class Friday, okay? We know Sarah. I thought she was cool, but after seeing her today, she's kind of insane. Yep. Those pictures she was drawing. I used to do that sort of thing when I was about six. It was so weird. I mean, the girl clearly has issues. Why don't we just go to this party, have a few drinks, go home, go to bed and revisit this in the morning? You can even take it to class and see what the others have to say about it. All right, deal. Emily, we're okay, aren't we? Yeah, we're all right. Good. You know that Maggie girl Father Barilento keeps going on about? Mm. Do you think she's alive? Oh, I don't know. Something weird is happening, I know that much. I agree.
I've known you for a long time, James. And I'm sorry. But this would be the hardest thing you're probably ever going to do. If you want to be involved in this, you have to walk away from Lizzie. You have to leave her. Cut all ties. She can't be involved. She can't be exposed. I know it will hurt. But you have to move on. Now when all this is over, if you want to leave the church, leave the life, you have my blessing. I'm bored now. Maybe the conditions aren't right. Could we just try again tomorrow? We're in the wrong place. God, we should have eaten properly. We should have just gotten smashed. First day, nothing even happens. I mean, it's always an anti-climax. Tension's got to build, right? I think you and me have had enough tension. Come on, let's go back. We haven't even unpacked everything from the car. Remind me, what are we doing here again? Proving it's not fake. Believe it when I see it. You probably won't see anything. You're really selling this trip to me, you know that. When are the others getting here? Others? It's just you and me, babe. Trying to get back on track, right? We've been off track, have we? <laughs> Look, AJ, I'm sorry, this... Us... It's past. Then why are we waking up in the same bed every morning? Because you are insatiable. Don't be like that. Three years. Three amazing years. Don't guilt trip me. 
Look, separate rooms, separate beds. You can't touch me anymore. This isn't over, Emily. It is. I can't be doing this with you anymore. One more time, please. No. You've just been using me. I haven't. You have. I've seen the text messages. Oh. I'm not a fuck puppet. And don't deny it. That's what you told Helen you called me. You're frigid. That's why I called you a fuck puppet, because you just lay there. You hurt me. You physically hurt me. And I apologised profusely. I bled. Yeah, well, I was fucked. Oh. I got carried away. I'm sorry. Oh, just it stop, happens. All right. That's the reason. Just change the subject. I'm so sick of breaking down the motions of sex with you. <sighs> just get it out of your head. It's going to be a seriously intense week. Father. How are you, James? I visited the church you told me about. And what did you find there? There's a presence there. Oh, yeah, I agree. There, there totally is. There's a really strong presence there. So what did you feel? Did you feel like a... something move across your face, or...? Yes. I felt something shudder straight through me. I haven't felt anything like this. Did you go to that little uh, shell grotto uh, at the back of the church? Yes. Did you pray in there? I was praying. <sighs> Thank you.
sounds like a bad party, right? Could you drink as much as you like? Could you smoke as much as you possibly can? But trust me, from what we know so far, this is what you do. This is what gets it out of you. So, James, have you heard about the Rattling before? It's a... it's a medieval plague. Medieval? From the 14th century. My God. That's what I'm over here to investigate. You see, the problem is... Lots of people, they, uh... They think whatever this is, it's... Going to get out into the open. And what if it does? Well, uh, it could be a big problem. So how are you feeling? <laughs> Have you ever had any major illnesses before? Nothing.
how you want me to play this, huh? Hold on a minute, I've got some questions. I don't need questions. Hold on, can I just click record? There we go. So you like that side of the camera, huh? Well, maybe. Um, anyway, my name's Emily. I'm a member of the um, Visual Arts Project at the university. Um, I'm doing a project with my partner, AJ, and we just thought that you might be able to help us with it. You really want to talk to me, huh? Now look, I'll be straight up with you, huh? I'm under investigation by the church back home. You know, I might have found God, but my, uh, my past caught up with me, you know? How? I was a soldier for about 16 years, then, you know, something bad happened. Uh, you push yourself to the limit, things change. So, look, I was in a coma for a couple of months. And most of it was a blur, but I can tell you that some horror stories just don't get told for a reason. So when I come out of it, and to be honest, you know, that was it. It was in front of me. What, like a calling? All right, to be blunt, yeah. I mean, back home, there's a lot of stigma around me. You see, the church back home, they want me out because I broke some ecclesiastical law. So the caller might not stand for much, but it stands for something. I mean, I've got a past, but I'm here because I'm qualified to the hilt in survival. You people aren't. So if you want to work with me, you consider me a travel guide. I'm asking you for forgiveness, Lord. Between the ages of 16 and 28, I was a soldier and a mercenary. I followed in my father's footsteps. He was a Rhodesian. He served in the 32 Battalion, but I'm sure they need no introduction to you, God. I learned many of his skills, but as world politics changed, I questioned my position as a, as a man of war. In 2008, my wife's family farm back home in Zimbabwe was invaded. My wife, Maggie, was about to be raped and murdered until I intervened. That day changed my life, Lord. I killed at least nine men that day. But nobody touched Maggie. Anyone else? They would have easily been outnumbered. But my tactical training was of the highest order. I systematically and ruthlessly eliminated my enemy with precision and efficiency. My wife, she was naked, covered in the blood of the invaders, but she still managed to find the emergency bag with passports and cash. We escaped. You know, Lord, some of those men, they were still breathing when I poured the petrol down their throats and lit the match. I gave no mercy that day. So you girls are finally allowed to bring out the big gun, huh? Is that you? Yeah. See, I've been telling all these camera kids my whole life story, you know? But nobody wants to believe me. So I better watch the videos back then. It's a nice idea. You're a smart girl, but uh, I think your girlfriend is pretty pissed with you, you know? Body language. You know, what if you went too far, all right? You're good. But can we not talk about it? You asked, you respect. No problem. Case closed.
And look, it's an up. There's no comparison today. And rattling noise. It's everywhere. All right, enough, Father. What the hell is the rattling? You seem to be shying away from a few things. I was holed up in a panic room. I'd got stabbed by a mob back in Zim. I was bleeding badly. But you know, I was more concerned about what I was throwing up. <coughs> See, I could hear this noise in the room. It was kind of like breathing, I guess. I swear somebody else was in there with me. I mean, I had a conversation with myself for an hour. I can hear you breathing, my friend. You must be in here somewhere. So who the fuck are you, huh? No, I must be in a... In a pretty bad way, you know. I wake up. Barely even know what continent I'm on. Look, everything's hazier than I thought in here. when I found I had to believe in something. I was in hospital for a long time, but I recovered. They put it down to some tropical disease they couldn't get to the bottom of. But I knew it was something far more dangerous. I didn't know how I survived, but I did. And being in its presence, it doesn't appear to affect me. Makes you hallucinate. But wherever it come from, it has to emerge. It lays dormant. And suddenly, somebody, something, disturbs it. The conditions have to be right. And then it begins to multiply and infect. The only time we knew about it happening over here was when Father James found it. Whatever this thing is, it's got to be stopped. But I don't think we're going to stop it anytime soon. it is, it stalks the forest like a wind, except on this occasion, it might have escaped the forest, do you understand? I've been watching you guys for the past few days. How are you, father? I'm good, John. I'm good. Wait, you know him? I wouldn't be out here if I didn't know that guy was following us around. Help me out, brother. So, the rattling noise. You can hear it, clear as day. It's got a lot to do with the woods themselves, the layout and all that. But it's also kind of like amplification. Now, usually it needs to be warm enough. Some years, 
it'll never spread through the forest. It has to multiply, but to really grow, it needs a host to develop it. Shall I tell them, or do you want to? You tell them the story. I've told it too many times. Poor Maggie's baby. She lost it. Taken from the inside out. Doctors were in tears. They couldn't work it out. What do you know that can systematically destroy a part of you without a trace? Well, this thing can. So whatever it is, you get it inside you, it's got to come out. Jane, you know you can't have milk, right? I know, I know, but I was really craving it and it's already my second pint. And I ate like all the cheese and bacon. Mmm, bacon. God, the last time I had cheese, the noise was enough. Whoa. We're hearing that, right? It sounds like one of those old Dolby adverts at the cinema. Well, where the hell's it coming from? Maybe there's mushrooms around. We might be hallucinating. Don't be ridiculous. You have to eat the mushrooms. We're not in Colombia. This isn't scopamine or devil's breath or whatever the hell you call it. Scapolamina, made from the borrachero tree. Tú me vas a venir a mí a hablar de Colombia. No nada que ver, mija. Look, you know I know my drugs, right? This isn't drugs. This is a noise. It's real. All right. Maybe it'll follow one of us. Look, it's a noise, definitely. But it's not going to stop me going over there for a piss. So just give me two minutes, yeah? Hey, Joe, are you taking the piss? What do you mean? I've been needing to wee for like an hour. No, no, the noise, it's on you. Hey, Jake, don't piss in the woods. Okay, fine, I'll hold it. It stopped again. Definitely on you. I don't move about a bit. Wait, it's racing now. Whoa. No, it's not wind. What? Hallucinating. More like a micro-sleep. Oh, come on, this is just weird. Let's get back, yeah? We'll, we'll listen to the audio when we get in.
Emily, I hate you. I want to start dating men again. Is that too much to ask? Do you want me to clean you up, babe? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm such a mess. I've been sick in the bag and it's just because you clean it up. Could you clean it up for me, please? Oh, come on, let's go back. I'm so sorry, I'm such a mess. <laughs> hey, Jay. Aren't you forgetting something? Fuck your vegan shit. I want bacon. I want sausages. You are unbelievable. Did you hear that? Oh my God, Emily, did you just hear that? You, you realise you've just been sick, right? Have I? Yeah, you're really ill. Oh, but it was self-inflicted through alcohol. It's not like I had my fingers down my throat. <sighs> Come on, I'll help you clean up. It's what these rattling woods do. They take you back to who you were before. I'm out of drink for your loyal friends here. You should safe passage. Hmm? Of course, brother. See me through the day. In memory of times to come. Thank you, brother. <laughs> 